Good afternoon. Researchers are hoping a dino skull discovered in the Hilda Badlands, northeast of Medicine Hat, may help shed light on the evolution of horned dinosaurs. The partial skull was found on a very steep coulee bank along the South Saskatchewan River, a very remote and difficult place to get to. Our Terry boat was there, though, as researchers used a helicopter to lift the specimen out. It's a story that began 75 million years ago, when this part of Alberta was a subtropical lowland and dinosaurs roamed the earth. The animal that we found is, is called uh, Chasmosaurus uh, canadensis, which is a type of horned dinosaur. So think Triceratops, this would be a cousin to Triceratops. Paleontologist Jordan Mallon found the partial skull two years ago while searching for fossils along the South Saskatchewan River. And we have other specimens of Chasmosaurus canadensis to date. The only problem is that they tend to be historical specimens collected, you know, maybe a hundred years ago. And uh, because they were collected so long ago, we don't have good records about where exactly they came from in the rock record. Researchers hope this new find will help shed more light on the evolution of horned dinosaurs. This is a brand of plaster I've rarely used, so. The first job yeah, was to prep and coat the specimen yeah, oh, yeah. in a protective plaster oh. jacket. The team returned earlier this year to prepare the skull for transport, setting the stage to lift the 2,000 pound bundle out by helicopter. I wanted to be the one responsible to hook the latch on uh, and uh, see that uh, net lift off the ground in case anything went wrong, it would be my fault. So to, to actually see the lift happen successfully and you know, see my dinosaur 50 feet in the air was, uh, was just the greatest feeling. <laughs> it was awesome. But a lot more work lies ahead. The landowner provided equipment to lift the skull onto a flatbed for shipment to the Royal Tyrrell Museum. From there, it'll be put in a crate and transported to the Canadian Museum of Nature in Ottawa, where the rock and dirt will be removed so the research can begin. Most Chasmosaurus have very short brow horns over the eyes, and the thing that makes Chasmosaurus canadensis interesting is the fact that it's got really long brow horns over the eyes. So there's been debate over the years as to what that means. Maybe, maybe it's a male and the short horned ones are a female. Maybe it's a different species. Um, at this stage, we're thinking maybe it might be a different species, and we're hoping that this skull here will help to clarify that matter. Researchers expect to do a lot more field work in this part of the Hilda Badlands. Not far from where this skull was removed, they found a bone bed of horned dinosaur remains. Terry Vogt, CTV News, northeast of Medicine Hat.